Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a short tutorial how we can use OnePlus sales pop-up apps as soon as an email application for Shopify. So the first thing what I'm going to do, I'll just click here add app and I'm going to install it on my store and then I will show you what you can actually achieve with OnePlus. So first thing first, you see that I got a building entrepreneur here. I'm going to choose it, start a free plan. And now this is the live support they have. So it's okay. And now what features do you want to get started with? And you have options to go with offer discounts prices. Spin will give you full control and granularity of subscribers. Then you have go with a build trust. Then you have like collect subscriptions here. Or email automation. So it really depends what do you want. I can start with the gamification and build trust. If you want to also know how to use collect subscriptions and email automation, just leave it down below in the comments and I can create a tutorial for it too. Get started. And now here we go. So first thing first, uh, you have an option to go with better coupon box. That's not what I wanted. You can go also with fortune wheel or better subscribe box. Let's go with I know, fortune wheel here. So this is the spin to win. And the first thing what you can change uh, is like the design of it. As you can see, there are plenty of designs that you can use. So I'm going to choose this one here because I like it. Then apply theme or you can click simply save and continue fields. And now first we got a first name and First name, first name, then we have an email address, email placeholders, email address, check for existing email on. And you can have it for this pop-up or campaign subscriber list. So, okay, what you can do is to also add another field on top right. Then you have coupons. So... I can create a coupon. This is like, we need to go back. So first thing first, coupon code, this is going to be 10%. And we are going to have only one coupon here. You need to add multiple ones here and select multiple coupons. So I'm going to create one. And this is going to be 10% off. Because like the in the bag when we go, it's a 10% discount. So the coupon is going to be 10% on a create here. 10%. Now we have a code here, so this is going to be generic coupon. Uh, not only unique, like generic only because uh, a lot of people will be using it. Or we can have it as a unique, completely up to you. Now code prefix is going to be 10% or like 10. I don't know. 10%, okay, let, let's like this. Limit to one use or one per customer. Now behavior expires after a certain number of days. No discount time percentage, 10%. And as you can see, 10% of all products applies to all products, minimum requirements, none. Let's click save. Well, here we have it. We have the coupon. You need to create every single coupon on here. Then you have design. Again, you can change the colors, the overlay, the background, the close uh, button, then branding. I'm not going to really into this only because like you can edit those. My recommendation would be just leave it like it is and don't edit it that much because like those themes are really pretty. So you don't have to actually edit it. When we go further, we can simply click text here. You can also click on a coupon view how it looks like. And I think that this is good too. Then let's click to text here. And now title description button. This is the text around the fields uh, that you can edit and change. I'm going to leave it like it is. And then you have also coupon view that you can add and change. When we go further, I'm going to click here on triggers. On our triggers, on desktop, display on desktop devices, automatic triggers on leave in 10 when I'm going to leave, on when I'm going to mouse here. On a timer, three seconds after scrolling, 
let's go 75% of the page, you can enable it too or on inactivity. Triggers reset frequency once every 30 days. That's good. Button trigger, you can enable it too. Stop showing after free session. Okay, completely up to you. And same thing with mobile. On leave item or after scrolling 50% of the page. So we can here start simulation. Voila, here we go. So we can disable on a timer or we would go on a leaf item. And voila, here we go. Now, same thing with mobile. See? Bang. Perfect. This is so good. Now, what you want to do is when we have it, click save. Click next and have email. In addition to the coupon being rolled to the customer immediately, send an automated email to the customer thanking them for subscribing and providing them with their coupon code. So you can create an add new schedule here. And then have like integrations that you can integrate it with other tools. And then you have advanced here and change the custom CSS, etc. Now I'll just easily save it. And now we got it. Review and publish and you're good to go. So voila, this is how we do it. And we have the, we have the, how it should be. Then you have a language here. You can edit text, display rules. Where would you like to display your campaign? All pages, exclude which page you don't want it to show, reviews and publish, easily just publish now. So when we have it, this is how we would do the spin wheel. Let's go further. Mm. I would like to create a new one here. So what I'm going to do is to create a new campaign. So I'll just go to my Shopify store, login. And let me show you how you can create another one. So I would go here to apps, one plus. So this is how we can do the spinning wheel. Better fortune wheel, better subscriber box. So we can go with the coupon here. And now I can add also better subscriber box. And same thing first, this is works completely the same with others. Then you need to change the theme, you need to change the fields here, the design, text, triggers, emails, and just literally set it up. The same with the first, like it's really similar what you can do and what you can actually achieve. So this is pretty much it how we do it. If you're gonna have any questions, guys, create a new campaign here. New campaign. And again, you can like create it here. Then you would see the subscribers here that you would sign up, coupons. They need to create emails, integrations that you can integrate with other softwares. And you have again campaigns here. So create a new campaign. And you can just like create it. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you're going to have any questions, ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.